guys welcome to my channel so today we're gonna talk about dry skin why dry skin happen and how we can take care of dry skin uh, how we can get rid of dry skin and what product we should use so this is gonna be a fully detailed video so and, and I'm sure if you keep on watching this video gonna help you a lot if you're suffering from dry to very dry skin so dry skin is a common condition with many causes sometimes uh, dry skin can be genetic but it can also be because of aging uh, nutrient deficiency or exposure to harsh weather conditions or uh, in medical conditions such as thyroid disease having dry skin can be both unattractive and uncomfortable and typically in dry skin um, few things that can be noticed are red patches uh, dry patches itchy patches and all areas of the body can be um, affected so if you do not uh, treat your dry skin or take care of it it can be worsened it can be it can lead to cracks on your skin you can treat your dry skin with the proper skincare routine so everyone wants a clear and soft skin so you should always follow a skincare routine according to your skin type so do not so confuse between dry and dehydrated skin symptoms are quite similar but we use different beauty treatment for each case dry skin would be tight uh, cracky scaly and looks dry and dehydrated skin would be pale tight sensitive and develop fine lines easily so I'm gonna talk about few habits which you, you can improve to get a clear and soft skin and some products but you don't have to use all the products I'm just mentioning uh, the ingredient you should look in those products and the habits so let's start with the most basic habits a shower and bath so when you take shower and bath uh, so use warm water instead of hot water hot water can dry out your skin by pulling out oils and uh, moisture from your skin use a gentle soap or body wash look a milk cream base or a milk base or a glycerin base a soap or body wash do not take long hot baths uh, longer than 10 minutes I, I know hot water in winters can be very relaxing but if you're suffering from dry or very dry skin you should avoid so second it is face wash or cleanser so try to use a soap free uh, milk base or gentle cleanser try to avoid gel based or foaming face wash for dry skin and you do not need to wash your face more than twice in a day so number three is moisturizer so use a thick moisturizer and apply right after you take a bath or wash your face on a damp skin so that your skin can absorb the moisturizer better so number four is toner which is optional uh, you can use your favorite toner or a toner according to your skin type uh, you can use rose water which is very good to help maintain the pH level of your skin um, whatever toner you're using use it in a spray bottle uh, so when you spray on your face on your skin this your skin will absorb it better and it will be so, more beneficial so number five is serum which is also optional as dry skin is more prone to get wrinkles and fine lines if you want to avoid that uh, you can use serums like retinol serum or if you are in your teenage or in twen your 20s you can use vitamin c serum or, or you can use hyaluronic serum so hyaluronic serum provide moisture and hydration to your skin so i personally use this me plus hyaluronic uh, serum uh, which is very good it provides moisture to my skin it hydrates and plumps skin and soften and smooths the skin or if you want a cheaper option you can use glycerin as a serum use at night before your moisturizer so number six is sunscreen which is very very important for so for dry skin you can use a hydrating sunscreen uh, SPF 30 or 30 plus uh, so as I already told you that harmful UV rays can damage your skin so sunscreen is very important for all skin types I personally use this um, Garnier protection lotion SPF 30 with shea butter it has shea butter in it which is very good for dry skin so number seven is scrub or chemical exfoliator so which one is better so both are good but chemical exfoliator penetrate better in your skin hence it gives more benefits so you have to scrub or exfoliate your face only twice a week so you can make a DIY scrub at home with coffee powder and virgin coconut oil 
mix it and just uh, apply and please gently scrub your face. face mask so hydrating face mask are very good for dry skin look for face mask that contain humectants or emollients which are hydrating ingredients and so we can make a diy face mask for dry skin at home so so take a half avocado and a quarter cup of honey use the quantity as per the area you want to cover so squash the avocado mix it with honey and apply it on your face leave it for 5 to 10 minutes then wash off with lukewarm water so you can apply this twice a week and this is definitely going to help you so these are the habits or product which we use every day so i have told you how to use it and what to look for dry skin so use for fragrance free products and so due to um, slowing of the cell renewal process or the accumulation of dead skin on the surface of the skin dry skin may appear dull so i'm going to give you a few tips for you to care for your dry skin so steam so if you want you can have steam every second day of the week so steam is very beneficial it provides moisture to the skin and it locks in so second one is massage your face with the oil so you can do this twice a week before taking a shower or washing your face so you can use oil like coconut oil almond oil jojoba oil is very beneficial for your skin so don't use acidic DIYs. Don't use lemon, apple cider vinegar, anything that is sore in your DIYs. So for makeup, use a hydrating makeup. So there are so many hydrating foundation and um, concealers in the market. So you can buy that. Do not use matte finish makeup. So I hope you liked the video and this was useful to you. So I'm gonna make a part two of this video in which I'm gonna tell you about uh, skincare DIYs for dry skin which is gonna help your skin so, so subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you so much for watching